Hi, Addie here from Recipe Line, and today we are going to make the easiest ever cinnamon rolls. All you need is crescent dough, sugar, cinnamon, butter, and then for your own frosting, powdered sugar and milk. So let's get started. What I love about making my own cinnamon rolls is that you can customize them any way you want. If you want, you can put in brown sugar, maybe some strawberry preserves, but basically you have complete control of what goes inside. So what you're gonna do is unroll your crescent dough just to make the big sheet. And you're gonna put all of your ingredients on top and then roll it right back up into a log and slice it. That's okay if there's some ripping because once you roll it and slice it, it will all hold together just fine. Just using a spoon or an offset spatula, I'm going to rub the butter on top. And all your ingredients are for two crescent rolls. We've combined our cinnamon and sugar together. We'll just stir it and we're going to pour it on top of our cinnamon rolls. I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. Now, with the rolled end, you're just going to turn it back all the way towards you to create a log. With your knife, you're going to slice in even slices. And you're going to place on your parchment lined sheet tray. Again, some of the sugar might fall out, that's okay. And we're gonna place in the oven. While our cinnamon rolls are baking, I'm gonna make the icing. So you're gonna take your powdered sugar and add in a little milk. You could also add an apple juice, but today I'm gonna use milk. With any cinnamon sugar you have remaining, just keep it because once the cinnamon rolls come out and we frost them, you can always sprinkle with a little more. As you can see with homemade cinnamon rolls, some look absolutely perfect like this one and others can sometimes be a little bit of a mess, but that's okay, they all taste delicious. So now all we're gonna do is glaze them, put them on our plate with a little cinnamon sugar and voila you've made homemade cinnamon rolls.